Hi, I'm Sarah France. I'm here to tell you about the Couture Book plugin for Aperture 3. So the first thing that you're going to do is just hit the download button right from couturebook.com backslash Aperture. And that's going to download your Aperture plugin. You need to log in because you need to be a member of Couture Book in order to download the plugin. So make sure and log in. Now you're going to go to download and just download the installer. Once you've successfully installed the plugin, just go to Aperture and launch the book tool. You're going to select the event that you'd like to do the book for. Make sure your images that you'd like to use for the book are selected and go to New. Go down to Book. And from there, you're going to go to Book Type and you will see Couture Book as the drop down option. From here, you're going to choose the size of the book that you'd like to use. And just hit Choose Theme. Now that you have some layouts in here, you can start to fill the book with your images. If you want to change the layout, all you do is select Edit Layout and you can easily pull in the bars and resize the images as well as maneuver them around the pages. You can also choose from the layouts that Couture Book has provided for you, including some two up, just simple layouts that allow you to plug some images in. To add a new opening to your layout, you just go to the plus menu and hit add photo box. You can also see that when you're doing the layout, you have really helpful guides that'll help you decide where the images should be lined up to and where the edge of the page is as well. If you want to add a new spread or duplicate a page, you just go to the plus bottom at the bottom left and let me just hit add a new page here. It's going to duplicate the layout of the page that I had above or if you want the exact same layout, you can go to duplicate page. Keep in mind that you want the book to start on a single side and end on a single side as well. Another thing to keep in mind is that the first image is going to be the first page on the inside of the book. It's not the cover as you would see in a lot of the Aperture books. So you want your first image to be the image that you're going to open up the book and see right away and you want that single image as the last image in the book as well. So now that we have the book design ready to go, let's go in and place the order. The only thing that we need to do is hit the button that says send book. After you hit send book, you're going to get a couple dialog boxes. One is to agree that you know that you're leaving Aperture and going to Couture Book. And then you're going to need to log in. And here you get the options of which book you'd like to choose with the design that you're sending. So let's take a look at the layouts and see which one we want to do today. One of my favorites is the French Paris, of course. Here you have the selection options on what you'd like the cover to look like. And I'm going to go with Snow White. The paper type options are here as well. One of my favorite papers is the linen paper. And I'm also going to choose to add the sheath box. Now you can see your total and go to the next screen. Then I'm going to select the quantity of books I'd like, the shipping method, and fill in my shipping address information. Now that you've completed the ordering process, the very last step is to hit upload and start transferring the files to Couture Book. If you ordered a photo on the cover of the book, then Couture Book will be in touch to get the file information from you. And thank you so much for ordering from Couture Book. And if you'd like some more information and trainings, you can go to shop.sarahfrance.com where we have tons of trainings on Aperture and the book tool.